This one is a touchy subject. Uh, this whole fucking video is a touchy subject. So anyway, this one, this one's hard to get across to people big time. But outer space is up for debate. Space programs are compartmentalized, and most astronauts are Freemasons that have to swear an oath of secrecy when dealing with the so-called missions. The thing is that there is so much footage of NASA and other space agencies making mistakes. Sometimes we could see bubbles in the spacewalks. Sometimes we could see harnesses and wires on the people in the International Space Station. The permed hair that moves nothing like it would in zero gravity. These are huge red flags, not to mention the Van Allen radiation belt. The Van Allen radiation belt is a layer of energetic charged particles that is held in place around a magnetized planet such as Earth by the planet's magnetic field. Sounds kind of like a dome if there is one. Oddly enough, one of NASA's employees admitted that this radiation belt needs to be figured out before humans could pass through it. Listen closely. As we get further away from Earth, we'll pass through the Van Allen belts, an area of dangerous radiation. Radiation like this could harm the guidance systems, onboard computers, or other electronics on Orion. Naturally, we have to pass through this danger zone twice, once up and once back. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. Sensors aboard will record radiation levels for scientists to study. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. Let's talk about satellites. We've already discussed how there are no pictures of the Earth. So are satellites even real? Not likely. Ground towers are built all over the world and are more than adequate to relay our television, radio, and cell phone service. All GPS is done through uh, land-based towers and things like Google Earth are taken with high altitude planes and most of them are just done with cars on, on uh, street level. Did you know that satellites were actually invented by Arthur C. Clarke, the science fiction author? I didn't <laughs> they, know that. <laughs> they, they shortly became science fact uh, after that. They, yeah, the geostationary satellite, look it up, it was created by a science fiction author. And then within a decade, NASA claims to have sent a real one up there. And ever since then, that's where we get all our communications from. So if satellites were real, we would constantly hear stories of them being hit by meteors or comets. And that doesn't happen. Uh, no one's ever lost their direct TV feed during the Perseids meteor shower because one of the meteors knocked out one of the satellites. It doesn't happen, it's never happened, and it won't happen. And that to me tells me there is no satellites. You would constantly be worried about them and you would constantly hear about them having something happen. And it's so rare that you hear that. So you may or may not have heard the term cognitive dissonance. Cognitive dissonance is when new information challenges your beliefs and you just can't let go. It's just like that scene in the matrix. No. I don't believe it. It's not possible. Stop. Let me out! Let me out! I want out! We have a rule. We never free a mind once it's reached a certain age. It's not easy going through this kind of deception and then realizing that your whole life was spent thinking and believing one thing when it's the opposite. Nobody wants to feel like they've been fooled, like they've been had. I'm a human just like you, and I never would have thought in my wildest dreams that I'd be on this kind of journey. This journey of realization and reckoning. This journey of putting everything I know to the side so I can absorb information that seems ridiculous, yet so sensible. It's time to say fuck it. It's not your fault that you were wrong. It's not your fault that you fell for a trick that the whole world also fell for. I'm right here with you. It's time to take down your mental barrier and recognize that we have a lot of work to do in order to find out what this place really is and why we're here. It's not to be slaves of the dollar. It's not to be slaves of the clock. Our reality is being manipulated and hidden from us. Please wake up and try to awaken those around you. So how did this happen? 
Okay, let's start in the classroom. The first time anybody enters a school classroom, they are introduced to the globe model of the Earth. This three-dimensional scale model of the Earth that has never been proven was invented in the 1400s. Fast forward to 1927, a big budget movie company called Universal Pictures came out with its movie intro and guess what? The spinning ball Earth still hasn't been proven. This is 30 years before NASA was founded. Over the years, Universal kept coming out with similar logo intros and to this day, we see the spinning ball Earth before many of the movies that we watch. Besides, there are countless movies about outer space that use the same model. We have been indoctrinated, and it's as simple as that. For the spherical Earth to remain unproven after this long is a wake-up call to everybody that lives here. We need to shed this programming right here, right now, and find out what the fuck is going on. No more embracing this sick illusion that was created by psychopaths. I'm going to keep searching for answers and trying to make something happen. All I want to know is, who's coming with me? For your surgery, I asked if you had packed your cell phone, and you said, which one? When? Skylar, I was medicated. I mean, I, I, I could have said the world was flat. You know what I think? I think you accidentally told the truth. The world was flat. You know what I think? You accidentally told the truth. The world was flat. You know what I think? You Really, the evidence shows me that it's flat and stationary. There is much more evidence uh, based on uh, uh, just pure analysis that it's flat and stationary. So it's not actually a sphere. It's an it's oblate. And officially, it's an oblate spheroid. That's what we call it. But not only that, it's slightly wider below the equator than above the equator. A little chubbier. A little chubbier. Yeah. Chubby's a good way. It's like pear shape. Yeah. Really, we're in big trouble as far as lack of critical thinking and lack of free thinking. We are really are in big, big trouble. We need to step it up as far as the awakening goes. You really need to put your thinking cap on and you really start to really need to start to look at these things and look at them with a critical eye and with a critical mind.